No, but she went over there. Hey, it's that time again. Day work call, guys. It's 8 o'clock. Come on, get it together. We got a lot to get through this morning. Now sit down and shut up. Okay. First thing, we have a small change of routine starting today. Instead of handing every one of you guys a copy of the hot sheet, we're going to post just one. But it'll still be your responsibility to get those numbers in your books. Oh, by the way, I spoke with Cully late yesterday. He said his bites are healing pretty well. We should be back in about a week. Also, the tryouts for the Police Olympics are this Saturday, 10 a.m., Quincy Park, diamond number three. Okay, we're going to hand out some teletype stuff now, and I want you to read it this time. Your lives may depend on it. We'll proceed with the roll call in the meantime. Alan and Mott, 7A15. Bradley and McGuire, 7I55. Cummings, 7M47. Dawson, 7T23. Decker, 7M46. Donnelly, 7M66. Donnelly? Donnelly, you here? <laughs> Very funny. Check this, will you call supervisor? Doherty, 7M27. Favor, 7M49. This is down as vacation starts today. We'll call Maggie. Let's get a replacement in here. Yeah. Grimaldi, 7T16. Yeah. Horner, 7M53. Jones. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, officer. What's the problem? Well, I'd like to see your driver's license, please, and your registration. Of course. I don't understand why you stopped me. Your registration, please. Oh, uh... Where are you from, Helene? Uh, outside Los Angeles. Actually, it's there on the license. Yes, I can see that. I mean, originally. Where are you from originally? Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. That's all you Kentucky. want to know. I would, uh... I've never stopped anyone from Louisville, Kentucky before. This is the first time. Why did you stop me? Well, ma'am, I believe you're drunk. Drunk? <laughs> You've got to be kidding. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. I really don't care what time it is. I believe you're under the influence, and I need to give you a test for sobriety. And if you'll please get out of the car. I am not drunk. Can you not see that? There's no need for you to get mad at me, Helene. It's my job. Now, will you please get out of the car? 
How long is this going to take? All right, ma'am, now I want you to walk that line straight as you can. Heel toe, heel toe. There is really no point in it. Very good. I'm impressed. <laughs> Another little test, please. Would you put your hands out like this? Close your eyes. I'll take these. And touch your forefinger to your nose. <sighs> I can do this. I'm just a little tired. I understand. Take your time. Take your time. Very good. I'm beginning to believe you. One last little test. Turn around. Tilt your head back. Put your hands behind your back. Close your eyes and stand on one foot. <laughs> Ow! What are you doing? Stop it! What the hell are you doing? Stand your feet. Look, I have that foot! Open up. Ben? Hey, Sheriff, what can I do for you? A little early for the softball collection. You didn't invite me in for a minute? I'd like to, Sheriff, but maybe you can back in about an hour. Don't have it. We got a complaint about the noise. Oh, yeah, well, the uh, girls were fighting. I'm sorry you had to come all the way out here. Enid in here? Yeah, she's resting, but I don't think she wants to be disturbed. Enid? Enid, are you in there? This is Sam Brody. Eden, if you don't come out, I'm going to have to come in. She took a bad fall there, Sheriff. Over here. Okay. 
Can you walk, Enid? Let me take you to the hospital. Enid. Enid, you've, you've got to press charges this time. You know that. You don't have to be afraid of him. I'll take him in for a few days and keep him there. Trouble we know is women if you don't knock them around. Them. You get yourself to that wife beating center in the belly. You hear me? Yes, sir. The next time I come out here, Ben. You understand? Sheriff? Yep. My wife didn't come back to L.A. She was supposed to be driving through here. I want to file a... I've, I've got a photo here. What'd you say your name was? It's Haraldson. Len Haraldson. Is the highway patrol now? Yes, I uh, called last night. A few times. Now they said... Stay put. Call me. But I couldn't stay put. Yeah, I understand. Why don't you come on? I'm Sheriff Brody, by the way. How are you, Sheriff? Let me clear this off so you can sit down. There you go. Hey, Sam, did you catch that game last night? How's your breakfast? Fine. More coffee? Yeah, a little bit, thank you. You look kind of tired. I've been moonlighting. I'm so poor, I can't afford to pay attention. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> Have you been in here before? You look kind of familiar. Well, you got good eyes there, Kitty. I come up here every year about this time. Up around China Lake, near here. Like last year, I was at the same table, ate the same eggs, and had the same black mud. Don't I know it. What do you do? Well, guess. I can't guess. I find a lot of tip-offs with man's line of work, by his face or his eyes, hands, and use your imagination. I don't know. You an actor? No. No, 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 no. no. Well, you I look like a soldier. I'm a writer. A writer? Well, now, how was I ever going to figure that out? Well, if you'd examine me closely, you would see that there's a callus right here, see? Now, the only way that you can get that is from a pen or a pencil. Rub it, you know, against the same spot hour after hour. It's kind of like Sherlock Holmes or something. <laughs> no. Well, I had to get back to work. I'll see you. Okay. Hey! Hey, give me that on the menu. any idea on you, pal? What's the problem, officer? The problem is I believe you owe that lady an apology. Gee, I don't see no lady over there. How about you, Al? You see a lady over there? <laughs> How about this, germ? You see this? Hey! Hey! What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's see something. Uh, Leave me alone. Let's something. Stop. Leave me alone. Here. Ah, 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 what? Ah, Here. 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 Here.
more coffee? Oh. Coffee now. Check. Oh. Okay. See you next year. Absolutely. Giving me pitching practice on Friday. If you finish logging these reports into the computer, I just might consider that. Hey, Sam, it's about that time. Bye. Bye. Let's go, Bobby. I wanted to tell you about that you game. You already told me about that game last night. No, I didn't. I was telling you about last week's game. All right, bottom of the eighth. Vercelli comes up. He's got a man on second. Pops a little blooper over the second baseman's head. He takes first. Decides to go for two, when all of a sudden he's rounding for it, bang, he goes over like a rock. I mean, no one knew what happened. He just went over. He didn't hit anybody, he didn't run into anything. Bobby, let's make a stop at Waters Garage. What for, Sam? Maybe you've seen that Mercedes. You got it. All right, bottom of the eighth. Vercelli comes up, he's got a man on second. He takes first. He's inside, locked up, like he's safe. Why don't you go on and check for yourself? He ain't bit nobody in a week. Just might do that, Wilder. Damn it, Wilder! <laughs> going to happy dogs. Do you have any uh, road calls yesterday? Uh-uh. We're looking for a woman in a red Mercedes convertible, about 45, blonde hair. What'd she do? Just didn't come home. Hey, Wilder, you find that car? You let us know before you sell it, okay? Okay. Stop. You see what I see? Try bar out of the vehicle. Radio the highway patrol. Tell them we need an ambulance. Shouldn't we open it first, Nick? Well, the thing is, they could have gotten handcuffs like that anyway. 
Someone found out if Raymond's is on his way. He's been called. He should be. Well, well maybe there's still time to get. Uh, get Clayus over here. Tell him Sacramento <coughs> name. We are. Could get in for red. Car secured. We called Albertsons hours ago. He said he might be a few minutes. Thanks, Sheriff. We'll keep you posted. Our staff. Say I talked to your mom about you coming out this weekend. Just the two of us be together, huh? Just you and me. Hey, that reminds me. Now I went by Clocks the other day, and guess what? They got a whole new shipment of dirt bikes in there. They got uh, knobby wheels. They got ten speed. They got the works. And one of them is bright red. Oh, she did, did she? Wow, well, boy, that's. That's really great. That's... You're gonna have to bring that out next time you come. Uh, listen, could I talk to your mom? Oh, she is, huh? Well, just tell her that... Just tell her to call me, okay, when she gets a chance. Yeah, I love you too. Bye-bye. I can see in the dark. Walk over to the car with your hands where I can see them. Gotcha, gotcha. What's the problem? You're under arrest for violating section 1115 of the public one, decency one, 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 code. Five, Put five. your hands on the hood and spread yeah. your legs. Yeah. Go on, spread them now. Oh, I got it. What you doing? If you're not doing anything, what's not? How about if I buy you a beer? <laughs> something else, you know that? Oh. Hey. What do we got here, partner? Don't drink at all. Why don't you give me your left hand? I got left hand.
Officer Donnelly. Yes, sir, Sheriff. Well, I guess I got a little out of hand last night, huh? Yeah. Well, my first day of vacation, you know, I thought off a little too much steam, I guess. What are you doing up here, Donnelly? Well, I was going up to Kernville to see my sister. Yeah, I stopped for a hamburger, you know, I had a few and had a few, and you know how it is. You're going to rain me? What do you suggest? Recommend community service? Well, you know, making choices what being a cop's all about, isn't it? I mean, you know, there's the ones you lean on, the ones you know you can let off. And where do we stop for donuts? Listen, I got 24 years in on the force. And if you bust me, they can shut my pension down cold and I go out with nothing. You know I'm not going to do it again. Hey, where you going? What's the matter? Hey! Them cops deserve a break in this one horse town? still running all right, why would she stop way up? Unless she was already in the trunk. Then how would he get away? I don't know, Sam. Hey, what do you want to do with the guy in the back? Donnelly. Mostly small stuff. Family disturbance, accidents. Highway Patrol handles the uh, Big investigations. They only let them ride choppers and re-educate DUIs. They must be power happy out here. I bet they stage a manhunt for every B and E. Well, thanks for everything. You can always depend on a fellow officer.
I guess it was ignition, like you said. Yeah, well, so long, Don Lee. Be careful out there. You too, Brody. I'll see you next year. All right. All right. I got a little hung up, so I'm late. Want me to warm you up? That's okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'm meaning to ask you, how come that team of yours needed to get a girl picture? <laughs> Wasn't ready. What I do for fun. What do you do for fun, Sam? Well, I, I used to... I used to play baseball, but that was a while ago. I thought I was pretty good then, but... It'll come back to you, just like everything else. No see. I didn't mean to. I was trying to drive out here. I got so tired. About to fall asleep, I pulled off the road. So what now? You want to get arrested again? No. Cops and jails don't work out. Don't work. I'll tell you what. I got a trailer out back the house if you want to use it. Appreciate that, but that's all right. Okay, why don't suit yourself? It's unlocked. The house is unlocked. You want to help yourself to a beer if you want. It's in the fridge. Listen, I didn't mean to horn in. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. I'll see you later. Yeah. You know, it must be uh, pretty good if you don't have to lock the doors around here. It must be pretty good police for us. Do you want a beer? Sure. Got some chicken in the oven if you want some. No, thanks. I eat. I'm going to take a shower. You can take one, too. Or we can take one together and save water.
not that I don't want you to call him. I do. He wants to hear from you, but would you call him a little earlier next time? I appreciate it. Thanks, Sam. Well, what's a nice little girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> what, John Lake? I was an army brat. We lived in a lot of deserts. And this was the last. They moved and I stayed. Oh, good. What about you? Oh, I thought everyone knew that. Big city cop looking over the edge of everything. Street, home. I heard about this small community where the sheriff was hanging up his badge. I thought that might be a way back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I better eat something. Do you want something to drink? Oh, please. Mm. What's this? You know, those logs you wanted? Cindy? Yeah? You sure you typed this right? It has to be 13, 14 disappearances and murders here. Are you sure this is right? Yeah, yeah, I just transcribed what was there. Wow. stuff. Want a drink? No, I'm still on duty. I heard Linda took off. It's a damn shame. Nobody knows how rough it is except another cop. It's a shame. What's this? 
He's no one else. What We're is it? trying to transcribe your old records to computer, Wallace. Trying to modernize these. Uh, turned up when we collated according to type of crime. Man, waste of time. We didn't need computers when I was sheriff. These are disappearances and murders over the last five years. Same M.O., same kind of victim, same time of year. Now, these are the dates, if you look at that. Now I see. Have another one, Bonnie. Damn coincidences are all heat. The hell it is. What are you trying to say, son? Just what the hell are you trying to say? All right, well, let's, let's just see for the sake of argument that the computer turned up a worker, a, you know, a serial killer. Now, maybe somebody living in the back country. I'm kind of new here, Wallace. I need to touch every base. I need to have whatever information you might have on, I don't know, desert rats. Now, Wallace, now. a dirty job. Let's call Donnelly. He'll do it. Any kind of crap. Let's call Donnelly.
to sleep. Thought you were going to go visit your sister. Well, I did. Short visit. I planned to leave before you got back. But the sun wiped me out. What time is it? I got 10 to 10. What happened? What? At your sister's, what happened? Oh, a fight with her husband, you know. He wanted me to play golf. Not like I hadn't ridden for three hours in 102 degree heat, you know. Well, come on over, pick something to eat. Sheriff Brody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me get a pencil. When was this? Yeah. You dropped him off at 4 o'clock. What time is he usually come home from work? Yeah. Well, okay, I'll check it out then. Bye-bye. Problem? You've been getting murdered on the roads outside of town. That goes back five years. I think I got a worker. You mean psycho? Gotta be. If you need any help, I'm not doing anything. offered to help. What do you make of this? I don't know. Looks pretty fresh. Anybody see that game yesterday? Uh, who are we looking for again? The guy didn't come home. Isn't this the canyon that, uh, what's his name, Clint Early lives in? Used to. Ought to be right there on Wallace's map, Sam. Clint Early? Sounds like a sex offender. Well, let's send the high patrol after him, but don't they have helicopters? Now. No, I lost it, Sam. Wind must have covered those tracks. Well, we better check out early anyway. Get him off the list. It's ought to be him up ahead. Ought to be or is. Ride. Took care of breakfast. <laughs> Donnie's gonna come with me. You stay here, Bobby. I'm the deputy, Sam. You I should here. go too. Can you handle one of these? Oh, I believe I can. All right, let's go. Stop for him anyway. People who die, they never stop for anybody to look like Clint Early, no matter what.
We're looking in the wrong place. Hi. Well, if everybody does something wrong. People don't stop in back roads for clean air leaks, period. It's too isolated, too hot. Yeah. But most people are incredibly stupid. Get out of here. Sam? Sam, what's going on up here? I do believe he saw us. Bobby! Move that vehicle! What are you doing? He ain't gonna shoot us. They'd have killed us if he wanted to. You could have killed us if he wanted to, couldn't you? Couldn't you, you little pervert? You need to let him get away with this, you know? Give some terrible ideas. How I spent my summer vacation. Better cover up. You'll get burned. I knew this other cop one time, you know. Had him staked out watching his crack house for about three days. Yeah, he's waiting for this insect. So he's sitting there, and after a couple of days, he gets it. He gets the insects. He says, aha. Nobody will know. Who will know the difference? So he gets up, he goes across, and the first cat he sees, he nails it. He says, you're Ernie Washington. I says, hey, man, ain't no problem. Whatever you see, man. So he takes him down, he books him. Takes him up to Raymond, tells the judge, this is Ernie Washington. Judge says, right. Left him free on 500 bucks. Naturally, he jumps. Now they put up another warrant for Ernie Washington. Everybody's happy. Happy as pigs and, you know. Yeah. Everybody did their job. The system works. Sam? Housekeeping to ER Bay 2. Housekeeping to ER Bay 2. Where's Donnelly? 
Highway Patrol is going to send a chopper out for Clinton. Did he leave? That other guy's still unconscious, but they think he's going to make it. Imagine that. He must have semen for brains. I mean, if that had happened to you or me for all that time, I mean... Just as soon as he comes to, we can talk to him. How'd he get that bike? I don't know. Highway Patrol must have sent it up for him. Hey, Sam. I can do the next watch. I'm okay. Not too sunburned or anything. I appreciate that, Bobby. I appreciate that. You bet. We're gone, Donnelly. Oh, I don't know. Thought I found some Hell's Angels to bust them up. You like them? <laughs> Why don't you stick around? No. Nah. It's time to hit the road. I thought of something today, Donnelly. Out there on the highway when you're flagging that car down, I realized who people would stop for. People who stopped and got killed. They stopped for us. Cops. Yeah. Well, that sure as hell better. They wouldn't know why they're being pulled over. They just see somebody flagging them and they just do what they do. Yeah. Well, I get your drift. Yeah. Take it easy now, Sam. You too, Jack. This is Sheriff Brody, uh, China Lake. I'd like to... China. Yeah, I'd like to get some information on one of your officers, uh, vacation schedule, that sort of... Yeah, that's official business. Okay, I'll wait. Oh, come on, man. You need to wait for your pants. Just wait for your pants. All right, hey, Susan. Come on, man. Real thing, real thing. Get on base. One in Boston avoided its longest losing streak in 12 years. Randolph. It's a ground ball wide of third and in the left field. Amazing. You need a hand? Oh, thanks. You. Sorry, kid. Bobby there? No, 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 it's nothing urgent. I just thought maybe he, he went by the house or something. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> true. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, that's, that's a good point. Well, it was... Oh, it was a rough day. Yeah. Diane? Uh, give my regards to the kids. All right. Bye-bye. Place you got here, Brody. 
Where do you live, darling? Mexican district. I could be near my constituency. But it does get a little lonely now and then because most of them don't speak the English. Where are you from, Brody? San Bernardino. Came out of about a year ago, my wife and I. From the forest? How come? Started to eat at me. That affected the marriage. I figured move, maybe that'll save it. See less out here, feel less of it. Didn't work. Yeah. Nobody knows. What's your sister's name? Maureen. Maureen Kabalowski. Kernville? Yeah. Yeah. Kabalowski's a jerk she married. And Kernville, Kobolowski, Maureen. Yeah, it's with a K. No, Maureen, Kobolowski. Ernie, jerk, Kobolowski. Do you have an Ernie? You do, thanks. You do target range, Donnelly? You bet. So let's shoot us some beers. All right, throw one up. Hi. Right. Why'd you go to Bermuda? 86, right? Right, yeah, I think, yeah, right. Why does anyone go anywhere? Uh, you tell me. Come on, throw it. No! Yeah, that's how it's done. Curious why I ask? Mm, it's my turn. I notice this coincidence. My turn. Coincidence is there are no disappearances when you were in Bermuda. All the other times coincide exactly with your vacations. It's my turn. What? You can. My turn. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Mm. Make you killed that beer. Yeah, look at that. He actually hit it. It's bleeding. Sure enough. This is Sheriff Brody. Got a call about a family disturbance at March Trailer Park. Responding now, over. Uh, Roger, Sheriff, we copy. Let us know if you need any backup there. Over. 10 4. Can you imagine how expensive everything would be if God had made Mexico? <laughs> I knew this cop one time. He was the first one on the scene. Hold up. There's some dumpy little liquor store down the barrio. And a cop comes in and he spots his kid. His kid's got this piece halfway down his clerk's throat. So he sees the cop. He turns real slow and he lays the cannon down on the counter. And then he smiles his big gap to smile at the cop. It was a smile that got him, you know. It was like the kid was saying, hey, you know, it's just another day, right? You know, like it was a game, you know, it was being played over and over and over. Huh? Cop just blew him away. Whack! I mean, it's just so many times, you know, it's just another day. And the funny thing was, neither the kid nor the cop said a word. It was like the way it was supposed to be all along. <laughs> they always come when you least expect them. Just sit there and don't move. Uh, Sheriff Brody, get an ambulance out to March Trailer Park, Space 11. My car's out front, right away. Get 
your shoes out. Are we going for a walk? You just do what I say. You, uh, I think you better come with us. Why? Your deputy, Bobby Wade. Well, he's been shot to death on Route 37 this evening. You're kidding. No, sir, I'm not. What's the license number on that? Will you follow me, sir? Uh, you bet. Officer Donnelly, I'm Captain Finney. I want to thank you for agreeing to talk to us. It shouldn't take too long. Do uh, you want something to drink? No, but I'd like a cigarette. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I won't beat around the bush, officer. We're investigating a series of murders out here, which, roughly speaking, coincide with your last five, uh, four of your last five vacations. We wanted to talk to you because we want to know where you were yesterday between the hours of 4 and 6 p.m. and the day before, that's Wednesday, between, say, the hours of 3 and 5 p.m. In that order? Well, I was in an arroyo outside of Little Lakes Valley trying to fix my Harley and listen to the ball game. What was wrong with it? Well, I thought it was a carburetor, but it was just a plug fuel line. Who won? Who won the ball game? Dodgers, six to two. Did you listen to the whole game? You're bad. Then if I ask you what happened in the bottom of the six, you might remember. Randolph got on and Murray hit a home run. And uh, what's his name got a single. Lenny Harris hit one over the right field wall. I believe it was Hampton got the single. Are you a fan? What about Wednesday afternoon? Wednesday afternoon, I went shopping, looking for a toy for my nephew at Kmart in Reno. Would you like to know when I got him? That's not necessary. Yeah. Okay, they're ready. I wonder if you'd do us one more favor, officer. I'm here. One it is, I'll kick his face in. He tried to kill me. 
Okay, take him out. Okay, then you're out of here. Hey, Donnelly. You got anything to say to me? You got anything to tell you, you fellow officers of the law? Why, Bobby? He was a cop, man. He was one of us. Why him? I forgot. Uh, control, right? Now you're talking. That's the secret, yeah. Now you're talking. Where the hell do you think you're going? Wherever I want. I fell asleep, huh? Yeah. What time is it? It's after two. Here, you want some of this? How's Diane taking it? Pretty bad at first, but they gave her a shot. Oh, by the way, who's on patrol? Wallace. A real sheriff, huh? Oh, God, Sam. It's gonna be okay. Deputy Robert Wade has joined the ranks of our fallen comrades who stood guard at the battlements of society and gave the last full measure of devotion to duty, honor, and country. We know that their sacrifice has not been in vain. To his widow Deborah and to his children Jonathan and Betty, we extend our deepest sympathy. To Deputy Wade, we offer our humble gratitude. He gave his life so that we might live in freedom and without fear. God be with you. What the hell are you doing here? Well, my vacation's not over, Sam. Uh, uh, there's too many people. Get out of here. No, no, no. See, that's what I want to talk to you about, Sam. The thing is, I can go home or I can stick. Or I can hang around room 37. I can do anything I want, Sam. That's what I've been trying to tell you. What happened to you, Donnelly? Uh, nothing. I mean, that's not me, Sam. Don't you understand? It's out there. It don't happen out there. It's all that garbage start building up, getting deeper and deeper. You know what I mean, Sam? The system doesn't work anymore. Sam. It works. Oh. Well... If it works, why am I going?
can't work another double shift. My feet can't take it. I feel like a dead woman walking down the street. <laughs> I know, it's terrible. What? Is something wrong, officer? Yeah. Not yet. You? You? You're the one... Oh, boy, do I feel dumb. You got that callous riding ticket. I guess we look like everyone else out of uniform, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you off now? Mm -hmm. So am I. Want to go for a ride? Well, uh, you just have to bring me back to my car later. Why don't you follow me back to my place and I'll pick up a snack or something. What's up? Ooh. Would you like to sit in the living room? You look so big in my kitchen. I'm not that big, Kitty. I'll put some music on. In the living room, I mean. It is hot in here. All right. You never talk about your boy. Mm. Eric? I just never figured you wanted to know. When you care about someone, you want to know about them. So I had to work her shift so she could go to the shower. <laughs> Are you married? No, no. Are you kidding? Mm -mm. Not too many candidates around here. You know, salesmen and truck drivers. Not that they're not nice people. It gets kind of lonely. But you know, to tell you the truth, by the time I get off work, I'm usually so tired, all I want is a shower in the bed. Maybe watch TV for a half hour with Buster. He sleeps over there usually. Weekends are when it's really tough. Especially around here. I might do it when.
over there? I didn't hear you. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, that's what they say. The one you don't hear, that's the one that gets you. I don't understand. You don't? Well, ma'am, when you're changing the tire like this, the car should be completely off the highway. Otherwise, the car comes by, doesn't see you in your history. It's for your own safety. But my car is off the road. No, 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 no. Come here, I'll show you. Now look, come here. Just sight, sight along the car. See you're two feet onto the highway. Can you see that? Can you see that? <sighs> that that's ridiculous. Not ridiculous. Stand where I'm standing and look down the highway. Take a look. <laughs> On your own safety. <laughs> Don't move a hair. Let her go. Slow. That was a funny thing seeing you here, Sam. You all right? Yeah. Get in the car. No, Sam. Cindy, I'm... get in the car. I told you it was going to have to be like this. I know, but... Now. Is just do it, Sam. Don't push it. You haven't got much choice now. Unless you want to let me go. Making choices is what being a cop's all about, Donnelly. We're going to test the system. Oh, no. No cops in jails, pal, remember? With any luck, you get the gas chamber. Gone. It gets easier and easier. Yo. Dawson, 7T23. Decker, 7M46. Uh huh. Doherty, 7I55. Favor, 7M49. Corner, 7T16. Yeah. Okay. Jones. 